For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how you can use user input from the USB serial REPL to control code on your microcontroller. So right here I have a Feather RP2040, and uh, I've attached to it, or kind of uh, held close to it, a little Macintosh, sort of classic Macintosh keycap that my daughter gave me for Christmas. So that's a keycap, and it has a little light pipe running through it, so we're going to see LED lights showing up. Now, for the actual code part of this, you can see in my REPL, it's, it's given me a list of colors, and then it says, type a color name from the above list. So I uh, will go ahead and type in, how about pink? And you can see I've just changed the color of the NeoPixel on the microcontroller. I'm just piping it through this cute little keycap here. And uh, I can type in other names in here. Uh, I can type off. I can set it to white. Uh, I can even type something that it doesn't understand, and it's going to say, hey, I don't know that one. It's not from the list, so give me something from the list. Uh, so how does this work? Well, the key component here, if you look in my code, I've got some libraries I'm importing. I'm setting up NeoPixel. I've created a little dictionary of uh, color names and color values. And then when we're running this, we're going to print out the little instruction, tell people to type in something. And then this is the key element, user input equals input and that's it, input in parentheses. Uh, so the next thing that happens is it waits for you to type something in. It just sits there and watches the REPL, waits for you to type something. Then it proceeds. In this case, it echoes back the color you picked, and then it sets the color of that NeoPixel, or doesn't if you've picked something invalid. Uh, and so that is how you can use user input from the serial REPL over USB inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.